Good morning. This is Nita with a timepiece garden. And I like morning light. I always have. Um, so it's a couple minutes to seven. Sunrise is supposed to be like 7.04 or something like that. So it's that, it's that twilight right before. Um, you know. So it's not quite over the hill yet. But the air is crisp and clean and, you know, the birds are waking up. And is up over here. Doing her thing. Hmm. So I hope today's sunrise finds you well. And I hope it turns out to be a good day for you. Talk at you later. So Miss Panda's really excited because the deer are in the field. And you've got to look. Right there. There you go. You can see them. They're down there in the field. You can hear her. <laughs> Good girl, Panda. Good girl. Um, barking at him. Oh, sorry, I lost him. There you go. You can still see him. Um, so she's doing her job. Keep the deer out of here. And that way they'll stay out of the garden. They'll stay out of the flower beds. You know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's both interesting and sad. I love it when they come into the yard to visit. But that many would just eat up my flower beds. You know? So she does a good job. She's just sitting there in the yard. Watches them run away. Good girl, Panda. Yeah, good girl. Good girl, Panda. Now she's up here on the balcony with me. See, they've gone up over the hill. You know, the little hill mound there. They were probably down at the pond getting a morning drink. You know. Pat is still on high alert. All right, well, y'all have a great day, and I will talk at you later. Late afternoon, hello from Timepiece Garden. So today was all about fencing, and yes, Panda's checking it out. Um, she can no longer jump up on the logs and get into the compost pile. Now this is not bear proof or possum proof or anything else proof, but it's Panda proof. It is too hot tall for her to jump in all the way around, which is a good thing. She doesn't need to be in there. So, you know, um, Zip ties. I had the fencing. I don't have enough T-post clips. Um, welcome to the uh, the pandemic. T-post clips are not a priority to even mail to me. So it's like end of April before I'll get them. Um, it's middle April before I get the corner post for the, the, the garden up front, the flower garden up front. So yeah, it's just been, you know, I'm not holding my breath. So, but it's been a fencing day. So I'll show you what I did in the, the garden area, too, up front, because Panda decided that was her new play area to dig. So give me just a second, and we'll go up there. All righty. So, again, these two posts, those are good to go. Those are set up. Those are for, you know, deer, deer deterrent. They're not going to stop a deer. They're not electrified, but, you know. Give a deer a reason to pause for a second. Maybe not want to come up here and eat it because there might be a dog there. Um, that one there, the lower one, <laughs> that's to keep Panda out of it for right now. Um, today alone, that stick right there 
is a panda chew toy in that particular bed. Come down to the next one. There's another panda chew toy in the particular bed. Um, she didn't get into these two today. Um, but yeah, I had to put a little, little, little fencing all the way around until she gets the idea where she can or cannot be. Because this one here, and I didn't take pictures of it, um, but she dug this half up. I think possibly that two of the bleeding hearts that I had planted are no longer here. I think she might have eaten them or drug them off somewhere in the yard. I don't know for sure, but anyway, yeah, so there's, there's a little bit of gate, just kind of, you know, it's not deer proof. It's just kind of panda proof. Um, since it's been up, she's walked the path. Whether it be this path here that, you know, was already here, the new path that I've put in, and the new path right there, she walks the path like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And so, yeah, I, today was all fencing. And hopefully it'll, it'll sink in and the plants will grow and I'll be able to take it down. Or, you know, the coronavirus thing will end and I'll be able to go to the store and actually buy something that would look cute, you know, Instead of just something makeshift to just kind of keep her out of it for right now. So we'll see. Um, right now she's up the hill. You can see her right up there. Um, roughly to the, what, my left, camera left. So her right. It's um, where the bunny's nest was. So she goes up there and she checks every day to see if there's any more bunnies. It, she doesn't get it that, you know, mom's not coming back. So... She loves it up there. She loves to play. She's a puppy. Anyway, let's take a quick walk and just go look at some pink flowers. Hang on a second. I'm going to see if you can see it from here. The red flag there is uh, one of my pear trees. And all the green leaves, that's the pear tree sprouting. Now, it's not going to have any, any pears this year. It's, it's still just a baby. It'll probably be a good two years before I get pears off of it. But I like the fact that I can see the green because that means it made it. You know? Um, this one over here, there you go. There's the other leaf. That's the other pear tree. Um, oh, it doesn't show up on film. Give me a second, see if I can change the angle. It's got some buds at the very, kind of right above that twisty tie, right there, see the egg? Center of the screen, kind of. Um, it's got some buds, so it too made it. So, um, yeah, those are the only two that, that I've planted that I've actually seen have leaf sprout on them. So, I'm so happy. I'm sure the others will come. You know, they, 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 they each of them have their bloom time. So, I'll keep an eye out. 